Hey guys, it's day 40 of being a boy and it's time to answer some of your questions. My dog's come to join. You have. Shinobu Kocho asks, how are you making space for trans femme voices? You know, since you're a boy and you have male privilege over the poor Westland women. How are you making sure to cater to their needs like women have done for men for ages? But it's empowering and woke now since we pretend to be the opposite sex. Anyway, loves you so valid. Thank you. Um, yeah, well, I never said I was a good boy. I never said I was a very good one. In fact, I can be a bit of an MRA sometimes, so no, I don't cater to trans femme voices. I'm too busy yelling at my mum to bring me tendies and playing video games. V asks, how strong are you? I'm super strong. I can open jars all by myself. Lightspell28 asks, are you getting surgery or do you want to normalise man boobs? Yeah, I'm not getting surgery, but if any trans people do want to get surgery and that is necessary and life-saving because they want it, just like the Xbox I wanted for Christmas, but my mum still hasn't got me bigger. RP asks, does it anger you that some women wear men's pants so they can have pockets? A lot of stuff angers me, to be honest. It's the only emotion I show in public now. I mean, granted, I didn't really show emotions before anyway, because people always thought it was just PMSing, but... Yeah, now I can just be angry whenever I like. Judy C asks, I'm wondering what you think about porn, since you're a boy and all. Happy face. Yeah, I quite enjoy it. It's pretty cool. You see all the sort of weird torture stuff and all the violence. And it kind of reminded me of the Saw movies that I liked back in the 2000s. But I never masturbated to Saw. I still can't quite get into it. But yeah, it's, it's cool to watch and all. Also, it teaches me a lot about what boys are actually like. Because I don't want to actually bother talking to any. That would be a bit... I don't want to talk to cis boys, but I get to watch porn and I can find out all about them, so that's cool. Jokil Jones asks, do you experience what we colloquially refer to here in the US as morning wood? Yes, we do. We do have that in the UK as well. We say that too. If not, do you simulate it or has my even mentioning it caused you to collapse in a dysphoric heap on the floor? No, I'm fine. Hibiscus asks, what is your opinion on women? They're useful. Also, how do you do that smile? Okay, it's a, it's a, mix, of, uh, it's a, it's a mix of influences, actually. There's, um, I don't know if you remember these old memes, the overly attached girlfriend meme and the troll rage face. And uh, there was this actor, Chris Marshall, in the 2000s. He plays the creepy guy who goes to America to pick up skanks in Love Actually. And he always did this great, starey eyes. So you just sort of stare to show the white of your eyes at the top, Sampaku eyes. Then you smile, but don't like close your eyes while you smile. And then you stick your jaw forward so that you've got your teeth slightly apart and showing and then you can go, love ya. Jell asks, how often do you masturbate? Every time your mum phones me for a chat, you cheeky cunt. And also every time Glenner uploads. Cat Funt asks, what's the best change since you realised your true identity? I get to do what I want and then call people bigots if they get angry. Myra Myra asks, has Gillette, Heineken, Calvin Klein, etc. approached you for sponsorship deals? The girls are getting tampon sponsorship deals. You deserve a sponsorship too for sharing your journey. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No one's reached out to me, so I'm really fucking off about that. I'm lovely, and I think it might be because I'm not exactly an aspirational figure. I'm just trying to be a normal, everyday boy. Well, you think that would make me more relatable, so I don't know what the hell. Maybe I've accidentally become an aspirational figure because I'm so handsome and sexy. That might be it. I don't know. Eerie Lamp asks, Thoughts on facial hair? If you want some one day, what would you want yours to look like? Well, it's cool, but, you know, I'm, I'm identifying as a boy, so I don't really want, like, a full-on man beard. I think maybe something a bit younger. Like maybe a sparse burger tash. You know, one of those sort of soft, gross teenage moustaches that just... You know, the kind that ends up with, like, iron brew or bits of crisps and things stuck in them. Yeah, I don't want those. That'd be cool. JM asks, have you encountered any turfs in the wild yet? Yes, my mum. Coley Farm asks, have you fell in the toilet yet because you forgot to put down the seat? Well, I, I stand up to pee, so I don't know why you're asking that. So no. I've got the silicon funnel thing for like three quid. It's pretty great. And I can, you know, it's cheaper than surgery, which is also necessary and life-saving. Also, has your body count risen since your transition? Yes, I'm lying about it twice as much now. Dirt Little Rockstar asks, what boy health pain do you enjoy most? I think getting kicked in the ghoulies, or getting a football smack into the ghoulies, it always makes me laugh when I see cis boys have that happen. And so I, I, I think it's pretty great, you know, because I'm just better than cis boys. I get to have the, the fun of it, the slapstick entertainment without the pain. So that's pretty cool. I just simulate the pain by going... <laughs> Gail Smith asks, when did you know you were a boy? And do you pack? Yeah. 
yeah, I knew I was a boy when I saw the option on the internet that said you could be. So I thought I'd just give it a go. Never heard of it before, but I thought, yeah, why not? Fuck it. I do pack indeed. I have a pair of socks that I use for just that purpose. The nice woolly socks. I call them my woolly ghoulies. Oh, thanks for all the engagement, everyone. Love ya.